good to see you too, man. Okay. And welcome back uh, home to Australia. You're um, you're kind of here permanently now. Yeah, it's been a year now. Uh, How's it going? Settling in on the canals. Okay. I've seen a scared of the croc on the uh, paper yesterday. They think it's coming to the canals, but I don't believe that. Okay, well, like I said, we're here on the Gold Coast, so tell me, what, what have you been uh, doing, Troy? You've been retired for, uh, for over a year now. Retired? Well, maybe not retired. <laughs> You're not racing anymore. Yeah, no. no doubt you have a lot of involvement still um, with everything. I've still been doing a few bits and pieces. Uh, you know, nine, I still was back at Ducati and went to a few rounds. I was over in Europe probably four or five times. Uh, did a few bits and pieces here with some shows and, and whatnot, so... I really, I really didn't want to have it too busy of a year uh, yep. for the first year off, and um, sort of, I'm just sort of settling my way in and uh, taking my time before I make any any big decisions. But right now, I'm like happy with the way things are going, and I'm still going to be involved this year with UK and a few other things uh, that will be coming up soon that you'll soon see. But uh, I'm looking forward to the year. Okay. Oh, great. And. Um you're involved with the uh, Ducati, I imagine, just uh, still in the world superbike scene. Uh, yeah, more, more, sort of more to do with the world superbikes. But still, I'll be uh, for sure. I'll be down Philip Island for the for the Grand Prix. Uh, okay, it's early March, right? Yeah, it's not far away. So there's a lot yeah. coming up, and also World Ducati Week uh, this year is going to be a big event for Ducati. And uh, for me, it'll be really nice to go back and see all the. All the people at Ducati, all the fans, and also um, I'll be doing a full-on test uh, that week uh, on the Superbike, which, oh, great. which I'll be looking forward to. Yeah, so it gives me, gives me a bit of an incentive to keep myself fit and, and do bits and pieces. Oh, sure. And so when did you say that? Uh, that will be at Mazzano. At Mazzano, yeah. okay, fantastic. Another little uh, trip to Italy for you. Yeah. We're really uh, lucky here today. Troy uh, doing the signing at, uh, at his house here on the beautiful Gold Coast, as we mentioned. and. Um, his, uh, his uh, 2008 uh, Superbike that he's, um, he's pulled out moved for around. us, moved around. <laughs> if everyone's wondering why I'm sweating, it's because we've dragged this uh, bike out and pulled these, uh, these helmets out. It's my hard work for the day. But to tell me, 2008, Troy, that um, what a way to, uh, to end your uh, career. No, we got, it, was, uh, it was a great year. Uh, Been my last year as well. Had lots of hopes to go out on top and also to to win on the on the 1098 and um, that that's, you know, that gave me uh, a really nice uh, thing on the resume like three three different bikes for Ducati and to finish on top on your last year was, was quite special and uh, okay. the only problem is you know sometimes you still think you can do it and sometimes in my heart I'd like to be back there and racing so um, yeah. I go through a few ups and downs but most of the downs are at the start of uh, last year when I went to Phillip Island for the first time. And, Seen all the guys racing, but now you know I see the guys riding, and it's like watching my kids go around. It feels like it was a long time ago. Sure, sure. So no, um, probably a common question, but uh, definitely no, uh, no comeback. No. No. Okay. <laughs> you never well, know. Not on two wheels anyway. No, you never know for next year. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll have a test this year, and um, I'm sure I'm going to love to be back on the bike. Yep. Uh, well, it's been your uh, life, hasn't it? For Oh yeah, it has, and that's why I haven't ridden anything else really. The last time I tested was on Casey's bike. Uh, that was over seven or eight months ago now. But I don't want to ride anything else because I want to keep it fresh in my head. So when I get back on the bike, you know, even though it's been a long time off the bike, I won't forget anything. I'll just be used to ride, riding that bike. So sure, that's the way. I well, don't uh, think you'll be able to forget anything, but uh, I'm uh, sure there's a difference to uh, to be locked away in the memory somewhere. So. Um, you know, over your, your career, um, three World Superbike Championships, um, you've no doubt got a lot of highlights, but um, can you maybe, you know, talk us, uh, talk us maybe some of your most memorable victories and... and, and uh... Well, I have to say, um, always winning in front of my home crowd was always very special to me, and I happened to do it at Phillip Island with, with doubles a lot of the time, and it was strange because it was one of the weekends where I had the most pressure. Uh, because I've always had a lot of family and a lot of friends come down to watch and so I really had to spread myself around made for a difficult weekend but like it was really um, when I pulled it off it was really you know, made me feel good and, and sure. all the people that were there for me so yeah. that was always good. Uh, Try all that pressure then 
Yeah, I did. And um, also, of course, to win in Italy. Um, like our home track, we used to call was Mizano, Monza, and also Imola. <laughs> All the tracks were within like an hour and a half from Ducati. So it was always special to win there. But not only there, I love winning in England because I just like beating the Pommies. <laughs> so I, so, yeah, yeah. I used to um, thrive on that, but all, honestly, not not against the people, but just against the other English riders because they wanted to always win in front of their own crowd. So I used to like to spoil the party and do everything I could to do that. Didn't work all the time, but um, yeah, many highs, heaps of lows as well. But yeah. you know, look back on them and they're probably good for you in the long run. Yeah, definitely. What uh, you know, definitely not want to dwell here on the lows, but what was. Uh, one of the most, uh, say, hardest, or the low for you, and then having to fight back and come back from that? Oh, I had a heap. Um, I think probably the worst one was 205 when I broke my wrist really badly, and that was when I was riding for Camel Honda. Uh, I missed half the year, and it was probably better off that I did, uh, so I could recuperate properly and then come back. But that was basically the end of my GP career, and Ducati took a bit of a risk to take me back on board because uh, it been a really bad year for me. And I had to come back and like it was quite a bad risk injury and that was definitely the highlight of my career. Missing that many races, uh, that was it was just tough to come back. And even to come back when well, I was on the 999. Uh, I haven't been in super bike for quite a few years. I went to the team launch which was Xerox and like there was hundreds and hundreds of the Xerox people there and stand up in front of all them guys, it's pretty nerve wracking like bringing this guy back and getting sure. there and like they're all you know big sponsors and one of the results and yeah. lucky, you know, we pulled that off. You did, did that, yeah, good. yeah, it was great that Ducati showed uh, confidence in, in your abilities and uh, you pulled through not only for them but, but for Australia and yourself, of course. Yeah. And then that same year, well, lucky enough to move on to the last round of the, the uh, GP at Valencia. That's right. And like that was like, you know, the icing on the cake to finish off that year as well. Get a, a MotoGP victory. Yeah, it was a brilliant weekend. Yeah. Alright, so um, maybe taking the, the engine out of the bike now, you're, I know you're a keen uh, cyclist. Yep. Um, just uh, got, a, got a peek at a few of your bikes there, which look pretty cool. It's um, always been a passion of yours. I mean, are we going to see you in the Tour, uh, no, tour Down Under soon? With nah, I, I love riding the bike and I've got a lot of uh, professional friends who do it for a living. Um, I really think that if I didn't make it in bikes, it would have been another career path that I would have taken. It's all too late now, but I still um, ride competitively in the local races up this way, and you know, I'd rather. And you know, I love my bikes, the race winning bikes, but I can be out in the shed and just tinker with my bicycle all morning, and time just goes by, and I don't realise it. So it's yeah. something that you know I really enjoy to do, and, and I don't find it um, time consuming. Sure. Oh, well, that's great. And then what else? What about? Uh, can we talk a bit about the kids? I mean, are they they're growing up now? What are they? Uh, Interest do they have? You know, motorbikes and, and what are they doing? The well, they're all um, one of the reasons to come back to where we are is a good spot for schooling with the kids. We're lucky enough to um, get them into great schools here. They're all doing quite well and they're all growing really quickly, of course. Uh, at the moment, Mitch is now 15 and a half. He's like a normal teenager, he has a lot of fun, he does some training with me and uh, not really any motorsports. Abby, she's just a bit of a princess, <laughs> doing everything right, pretty much. Ollie's, um, yeah, they're, they're into a lot of sports. Ollie's doing a little bit on the motorbike, not a lot, but they're really into a lot of water sports and the swimming and uh, soccer and football. So okay. it's pretty, pretty normal life from. No, that's good. Not sort of pushing into anything, and they don't have any uh, any um, aspirations or anything at the moment. No. And uh, we'll jump and roll over here, back to your uh, your 08 bike here. Tell me, um, maybe just yeah, a bit of information, you know, weight, power. Um, it's heavy as you know, you just yeah, draw yeah. it around here. What, uh, what's the weight on, uh, on that bike? Oh, I think it was 168, I think. 168, yeah, okay. I can't remember now, it's that long ago. Uh, power, a lot of that. It's a great bike, actually, it's one of the, probably the one of the favourites for you. Definitely the fastest superbike I've ever ridden, that's for sure. As in lap times. Yep. The 999 was a bit more sophisticated because it, at 
looked at to make it competitive. This bike is basically uh, stock standard, really. There's not that, that much done to it. Uh, compared to, as if you compare it back to the 999. But, you know, every year the bike's getting faster and faster. And the road compatible bikes are uh, getting the gap between the super bike and the road bike is getting so close. It's, it's ridiculous how good of a bike you can have on the road these days. Yep, and then uh, the 2010 Superbike Championship, uh, so it's going to be interesting. Any uh, any thoughts on that? Oh, well, I think Michelle's going to do a great year. And uh, of course, Hag is always going to be there, but Michelle seemed to come on really strong last year. Sure, he did, didn't he? Yeah, um, James is back, that'll be interesting. I'm sure, he's going to do quite well. Are you uh, trying to. Um, we're happy to see Ben come in and win his first year and, and by no means am I trying to suggest you're not friends with any other guys that you raced with uh, during your career, but... Um... No, well, Ben really deserved it. He had a few ups and downs during the year and uh, for someone to come along so new, not knowing all the tracks and uh, all the people as well, he did, he did a great job. He's a spectacular rider, very headstrong and very fast, so he probably got out at the right time. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it would have been a good, uh, good battle, definitely, if you were up there as well. Yeah. No doubt you would have uh, been victorious. We would have had a few somewhere along the line. And uh, a couple more last questions. MotoGP this year. Um, it's, it's shaping up to be a, a, a ripper. And it is. A few of the guys come out from the 250s and, of course, all the current riders. I think Ducati will surprise a few this year. Yeah. yeah they've been working on some good stuff. Okay. And uh, I think Casey's showed that he came back very strong at the end of last year. I think it could be a good year for both of them. But you can never discount it. Yeah. Well, Valentino and all the other young guys, there's a few fast guys out there now. Yeah, it, uh, there sure is. They're prepared to bang their head against the wall for a bit longer. Well, I think, um, I think we've sort of covered uh, all the things we wanted to chat about. So I really, uh, really appreciate uh, your time with that. I know our, our uh, members and, and your fans we should like it. Excited to, yeah, yeah nice. definitely to, to hear uh, some of that uh, info. So this is just yeah, these are the um, the 21 uh, helmets, our new product that we'll be releasing here in the next few weeks, um, which obviously Troy signed and uh, beautiful replica of no, the nice good helmet. That's for sure. Of his last uh, helmet he wore at uh, Porto Mama in Portugal, where he did uh, secure the championship. So, well, thanks again, Troy. Really appreciate it. Good luck Good to in you, uh, 2010 and family and everything, and no doubt see you around. And you guys. Thank you. See, see you. Guys. Yeah.